2023 World Padre Tour season is gonna be the most epic season ever. There are many different new teams with just one goal in common to become number one in the world. Do you wanna know all the teams for the World Padre Tour 2023 season? Hello to all players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new four set. Let's begin this video with the couples with the teams that has been playing together from the last season. And obviously, we need to start talking about Juan Lebron and Alejandro Galán, the number ones. They are in that position in the first position of the world ranking since the first season together in 2020. Last season in 2022, they won 14 tournaments together, World Padel Tour and Premier Padel. Since their first season, many couples have tried to become better than them, like Paquito, Lima, Stupa, Sanjo or Belan Coelho. But I don't think Lebron and Galán will be fear about the new couples that this season have been formed. At the end, they have been playing together for three years in a row. So the new couples need more time than Lebron and Galán in this preseason. But anyways, Lebron and Galán in the first tournament of the last two seasons, they were not the best tournament for them. Actually, in 2021 season, they lost in the quarterfinals in Madrid. And the last season in Miami, they lost in the round of 16. Will Lebron and Galán be able to achieve one more season to become number one in the world? Let's go with another couple that will be playing together for one more season and those are Alex Ruiz and Momo González. Both players, Alex Ruiz and Momo, have received some calls from other players to become partners. But at the end, Alex and Momo are friends on the court and outside the court, so they have bet on this couple. And those two finals in the last season are two good reasons to believe in this team. Let's go to one more couple that still this year are gonna play together and those are Paquito Navarro and Juan Tello. And for me, this couple is the one that I have more doubts on this season. Will Paquito be able to sign on the right side of the court? Paquito experienced something similar back in 2019 when he was partnered with Juan Lebron and he changed side from the left to the right. But this season, he is the one who needs to adapt to a new position on the court. But on the five tournaments that Paquito and Tello played last season, those were not so bad. They won in Mexico, where Tello finally won one tournament play in the final. So what I expect is that Tello and Paquito will be from less to more in this season. So what I expect from this couple is that the beginning of the season will be not the best, but at the end they will achieve the results. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want a video with Paquito and Tello of this preseason. And the fourth and the last couple that will be playing together this season continuing their adventure from the last one is Fede Chicoto and Javi Garrido. They also played five tournaments last season and they achieved two semifinals and one quarterfinals. At the end, you need to think that Garrido has a really similar game style to Tello. The time that these two players need to adapt to each other is less compared to other couples. But at the end, I have the doubt about Javi Garrido. Will he notice the pressure of playing with Fede Chingoto? Well, we saw the four couples that this season will continue playing together. And that means that this season many new couples are joining forces. And the first one is Ivancho Ramirez and Pablo Cardona with Juan Ramirez on the bench. Take care with Pablo Cardona, remember that name because he's 19 years old and already an European champion. I'm pretty sure that these couple are gonna play like in a ultra offensive game style. And don't forget that they have Juan Ramirez as a coach, the legend from Bahia Blanca. One more couple is the Andalusian couple Javi Ruiz and Gonzalo Rubio. Seven years later, these two Andalusian players are joining forces together. At the end part of the last season, Gonzalo Rubio was playing with Alejandro Arroyo. And Gonzalo Rubio did it really well. Let's see if Gonzalo with his new racket brand will have better results. Let's jump to another couple, Agustin Gomez Silingo and Juan Martín Díaz. This couple is probably the one with the highest average age. But at the end, both players are friends and they want to compete and have fun at the same time. And don't forget that when you are talking about Juan Martín Díaz, you are talking to a number one 14 years in a row. Pay attention now because we are going to talk about one of the couples that is aiming to the first position of the ranking and those are Bella and Sanjo. They used to play together in the 2021 season for six months where they won three tournaments. Actually, at the beginning of the season, they were fighting against Juan Lebron and Alejandro Galán for the first position of the ranking. But at the end, Bella got injured and then the results were going down. 
But that was not the last time that Bella and Sanjo played together. In the last World Cup in Dubai last season, Bella and Sanjo won the decisive point of the World Cup final against Spain. So at the end we need to think that Bella and Sanjo will need less time compared to other couples to join forces and adapt to each other. And they are gonna start the season at the fourth position of the ranking that that means they can skip the first match of almost all tournaments in World Padel Tour. And please never forget that we are talking about Fernando Velasteguin and Sanjo Gutierrez. Probably they don't play the fastest paddle in the world, but at the end they have the tactics and especially the mentality, the experience, the tactics to beat anyone. Let's go with another couple that is Alejandro Arroyo and Mike Janguas. And I have to tell you that I love this team. Janguas is the one that gives to this team the patience and Alejandro Arroyo is the one who makes the explosives. They have been training together for a long time in M3 Academy, so they know each other pretty well. If they get along well on the court, they can beat anyone. If Mike Janguas and Alex Arroyo are a young couple, John Sanz and Javi Lear are younger. John and Javi are really offensive players and quite crazy. They are the classical couple that no one wants to face in a tournament. Javi Leal is 20 and John Sanz is 23. And on the last season, John Sanz shared the court with Miguelito Lamperti, so he has more experience than Javi Leal. I bet on these players and I can say that this couple are gonna make at least one semifinal. If I said that John Sanz played last season with Miguelito Lamperti, this season Lamperti is gonna play with Juan Cruz Beluati. Both players are gonna be coached by Maxi Gravel, one of the former partners of Miguelito Lamperti. So in this way, Beluati breaks Lamperti's trend who has been playing with young players in the last two seasons. And now I'm really excited to announce that Franco Stupasuk and Martin Dineno, after eight years, are gonna play together again. Before they broke up as a couple, they've been playing seven years together as a couple in Argentina. Actually, the first time that both players played together, Stupa and Dineno were players from the left side of the court. So please like this video if you were waiting for this couple to play together again. Stupa and Dineno have a paddle game style mixed between the fast paddle played nowadays and the old school paddle. Remember the match they have played on the World Cup against Alejandro Galán and Arturo Coelho? Time seems like no pass to these players. If I have to bet on one couple that can beat and win Alejandro Galán and Juan Lebron this season is Estupan Dineno. They are gonna train with Carlos Pochoni here in Madrid with the help of Seba Mocoroa in Argentina. Let's go with one more couple that is Maxi Sanchez and Lucas Campagnolo. At the end of the last season, Maxi decided to break with Lucho Capra. Campa was playing on the left side of the court with John Sanz, a lefty player. But at the end, Lucas Campagnolo wanted to play again on the right side of the court. So Maxi took advantage of that desire and proposed Campa to play together and the rest is history. Will Campa play better with Maxi compared to Garrido? Because the game style of Garrido is completely different to Maxi's. At the end, Maxi is a left side player but less offensive. So this season Campa has the space, has the room to improve in his offensive shots. Last partner of Maxi was Lucho Capra that this season is gonna play with Agustin Gutierrez. Agustin Gutierrez is training in Alicante in San Jose Academy. So don't forget these names because both are young and they are willing to win. And now there are just two couples left. First one is Coqui Nieto and Pablo Lima, the Brazilian legend. They have not started to train together as Lima is still in Brazil. But at the end, if I told you Lima and Koki, what is the first word that comes to your mind? If I guess it right, it should be something similar to defense. Because at the end, Koki and Lima both are one of the best players in terms of defense in the world. So they know that this season they need to do something else in the offensive shots. But remember that Lima won three tournaments this season with Stupa and Koki with Martin Dineno was playing really, really, really well. And now the last couple to analyze in this video is the one formed by these two players, Arturo Coelho and Agustin Tapia. For the first time in history, Agustin Tapia is gonna play with a young player like him. Both players played on Kuwait last week in the VNK Paddle Open exhibition against Lebron and Paquito. And can you guess who won? Yes. Tapia and Coelho won against Lebron and Paquito. 
They show to the crowd an incredible paddle level, but they know that they need to reach a confidence level in their game style, but not just in their game style, but also with his partner. Probably on the first tournaments of the year, they will not get the best results, but these two players can beat anything. What is your favorite team? What is your favorite couple to reach the number one position in the World Paddle 2 ranking at the end of this season? Leave your opinion in the comments and see you in the next video. Ciao!